of Santiago de Compostela Parish. Let's take a moment, greet the people around us, and let us also remember the people who are praying with us via live stream. On this Thursday of the fourth week in Lent, let us begin with our gathering hymn, number 704, Gather Your People. Your people, O Lord, gather your people, O Lord, one red, one body, one spirit gather your people, O Lord, Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins. Let us acknowledge God's mercy, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You came to reconcile us to one another and to the Father. Kyrie eleison. Kyrie eleison. You heal the wounds of sin and division. Christe eleison. Christe eleison. You intercede for us with your Father, Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O God, who gave increase to your church, through the apostolic labors and zeal for truth of the Bishop St. Terribius, grant that the people consecrated to you may always receive new growth in faith and holiness through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to Timothy. Beloved, take as your norm the sound words that you heard from me in the faith and love that are in Jesus Christ. Guard this rich trust with the help of the Holy Spirit who dwells within us. My child, be strong in the grace that is in Jesus. Christ Jesus, and what you heard from me through many witness, witnesses and trust to faithful people who will have the ability to teach others as well. Bear your share of hardship along with me like a good soldier of Christ Jesus. The word of the Lord. Proclaim God's marvelous deeds to all the nations. To all the nations. 
Sing to the Lord a new song. Sing to the Lord, all you lands. Sing to the Lord, bless his name. Proclaim God's marvelous deeds to all the nations. Announce his salvation day after day. Tell his glory among the nations, among all peoples, his wondrous deeds. Proclaim God's marvelous deeds to all the nations. Give to the Lord, you families of nations. Give to the Lord glory and praise. Give to the Lord the glory due his name. Proclaim God's marvelous deeds to all the nations. Say among the nations, the Lord is king. He has made the world firm not to be moved. He governs the peoples with equity. Proclaim God's marvelous deeds to all the nations. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. I am the good shepherd, says the Lord. I know my sheep, and mine know me. Praise to you, Lord Jesus The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel. According to John, Jesus said to the Jews, If I testify on my own behalf, my testimony is not true. But there is one who testifies on my behalf. And I know that the testimony he gives on my behalf is true. You sent emissaries to John, and he testified to the truth. I do not accept human testimony. But I say this so that you may be saved. He was a burning and shining lamp, and for a while you were content to rejoice in his light. But I have testimony greater than John's. The works that the Father gave me to accomplish, these works that I perform, testify on my behalf that the Father has sent me. Moreover, the Father has sent me, excuse me, the Father who sent me has testified on my behalf. But you have never heard his voice nor seen his form, and you do not have his word remaining in you, because you do not believe in the one whom he has sent. You search the scriptures because you think you have eternal life through them. Even they testify on my behalf. But you do not want to come to me to have life. I do not accept human praise. Moreover, I know that you do not have the love of God in you. I came in the name of my Father, but you do not accept me. Yet if another comes in his own name, you will accept him. How can you believe when you accept praise from one another and do not seek the praise that comes from the only God? Do not think that I will accuse you before the Father. The one who will accuse you is Moses, in whom you have placed your hope. For if you had believed Moses, you would have believed me, because he wrote But if you do not believe his writings, how will you believe my words? The Gospel of the Lord. The Gospels. We can 
experience something of Jesus' frustration of heart that the Pharisees and the scribes just don't get it. Everything is there in the scriptures, but they only understand what they want to understand. And yet he is trying to open their eyes so that they can see, since he is the author of the scriptures. Today we celebrate a more modern saint, well, modern in the kind of big sense of the word, Saint Terribius of Mangravejo. It's not Mission Viejo, but Mangravejo. That's how I remember the word. He's a very important saint in our Western Hemisphere because he was sent to Lima, Peru, just 20 years after Our Lady appeared at Guadalupe. And that's actually an important convergence of time. He went to Peru. He wasn't even a priest, and they made him Archbishop of Lima, Peru, when the bishopric became open. They canonized, canonized. They ordained him a priest and a bishop the same day and sent him off to Lima, Peru. Desperately was he needed because things were in very bad shape, largely because of the lust of men's hearts for money. And so, as a result, many of the conquistadores and the Portuguese settlers there had enslaved a great portion of the Aztec population. And of course, they were compelling them to convert and making them their slaves so that they could get richer. And in many cases, even some members of the church were condoning it because after all, they said, they're just pagans. Well, then Our Lady appeared and she appeared as one of those pagans, not because she was a pagan, but because she wanted everyone to know they were God's children as much as everybody else, just looking for the blood of his son to be baptized in, but they didn't know it. And so St. Terribius went to work. In 26 years, he covered his diocese, which stretched from Argentina all the way up to Panama on foot. He learned the native language and customs, and he taught the truth, and he taught the truth so completely that many of his own clergy were against him, and especially many of the Portuguese and Spanish settlers were against him because he was upsetting their customs. They had slavery, he said, there will be no slavery. They had a lust for gold, he said, you should not lust for gold. They had a lust for other things too, but it was all rooted in their lust for gold. And so he incurred many enemies, but he made many friends among the simple people. He made many, many true converts. It took him seven years to cover his whole diocese on foot. And yet he was only following in the footsteps of his master. <clears throat> Dear brothers and sisters, he was one of a number of saints at that time. St. Martin de Porres, St. Rose of Lima, St. John Macias, Francisco Solano, parish named nearby after him. They were a small group of true reformers because they took the gospel as Jesus wrote it and taught it, and they lived it in truth and in charity. And if it weren't for such as these, we would probably not be here today. Let us pray that in our Lenten journey, we may listen to Jesus' voice more faithfully than did the scribes and the Pharisees. Many of them finally did convert, but not until they saw him nailed to the cross, which they brought about through their own manipulation. Let us be converted before that point, so that we may be, as Jesus was, true emissaries of the Father, bringing the light of truth to this world that is so desperately in need of it. Deacon Dan was just reminding someone in the sacristy, because of secularism, what used to be called holy days are now called holidays. The Lord's Day itself is now just another day amongst many. 
God is not worshipped as God. And so we have a lot of work to do. But the work is not ours, as Jesus said. The work is the Father's who sent us. The work is Jesus who sent us as apostles. We have but to live the gospel in truth and sincerity. And yes, indeed, people will love what they see, just as did those millions of natives after Our Lady appeared at Guadalupe and her faithful little troop, Terribius and Rose and Martin and John Macias and Francisco Solano did what the gospel tells us to do. stray from the Lord's ways, let us ask him for the strength to live lives of faith. Our response, Father, help our unbelief. Father, help our unbelief. That Christians everywhere may be more fervent in prayer during this Lenten season. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, help our unbelief. That unbelievers may listen to God's word and be brought to salvation. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, help our unbelief. That present uncertainties in the church may be resolved by an increase in faith. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, help our unbelief. That the poor, the sick, and the handicapped may see God's presence in their lives by the support of their families and their friends. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, help our unbelief. That the dead may reach their eternal home with the help of our prayers. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, help our unbelief. For Sergio Pena and for the repose of the soul of Genegethan Alegian, for whom we offer this holy mass, also for the other deceased, especially Nina Halle, Joseph Caspelan, Milt Tennant, Jose Melab, Frank Lane, Gerardo Antonio Malixi, Belan Teano, Jason Caduff, and Elvira Santos. For the sick, especially Araceli Lopez, Jorge and Nancy, and Nandy Maldonado, Lumi Palacio, Barbaro Yanchar, Bill Kruki, Vic Barrientos, Carolina Gamboa, and Steve Kimpan, and in thanksgiving for graces received by Angie Raimundo and Malu Greco, as well as for those intentions we carry in our hearts and those in the ark of prayer before our altar, we pray. Father, help our unbelief. Father, enlighten us through the Holy Spirit that we may openly profess our faith through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink.
pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that what we offer in sacrifice may cleanse us in our frailty from every evil, and always grant us your protection. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Amen. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For through bodily fasting you restrain our faults, raise up our minds, and bestow both virtue and its rewards through Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exultation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Sanctus, Sanctus, Sanctus Dominus Deus Sabbath, Venis Uncelli et Terra, Gloria Tua, Hosanna in Excessis, Benedict, you are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy, and you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. mystery of faith, save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you willed to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son 
and filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with St. Terribius, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis, our Pope, Kevin, our Bishop, Timothy, Thomas, and Todd, his brother bishops, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At our Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
will place my law within them, and I will write it upon their hearts, and I will be their God, and they shall be my people, says the Lord. And for the sake of our brothers and sisters who join us via live stream, we pray. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Body of Christ. Body of Christ. Body of Christ. May this sacrament we have received purify us, we pray, O Lord, and grant your servants freedom from all blame, that those bound by a guilty conscience may glory 
in the fullness of heavenly remedy, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow down for the blessing. O God, protector of all who hope in you, bless your people, keep them safe, defend them, prepare them, that free from sin and safe from the enemy, they may persevere always in your love through Christ our Lord. Amen. May the blessing of Almighty God the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain forever. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. Our closing hymn is number 460, How Great is Our God, number 460. St. Michael, the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our defense against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan and the other evil spirits who go about the world for the ruin of souls. And in this month of St. Joseph, St. Joseph, pray for us. The splendor.